Hi everyone. On Thursday last week, I was privy to some really, really good news and we've shared this good news with you in the parish newsletter this weekend. This year, back in January, our Unity College principal, Mr. Daniel McShay, was involved in a, a very courageous rescue in large surf at Kings Beach of a surfer who'd broken his neck in a surfing accident. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, Dan and a whole lot of other surfers from our Metropolitan Caloundra Surf Lifesaving Club went down to Parliament Grounds in Canberra to receive a Surf Lifesaving Award. And our very own parishioner, Mr. Andrew Wallace, who's our, also a member for Fisher, was there to present it to them. Uh, so I invite you to have a, have a good look in the newsletter and to celebrate this wonderful news that these heroes are in our midst and these heroes are connected with our parish community in a very beautiful way. So we, we pray tribute to them and say thank you to them for their service. We have lots of heroes here in our parish community, people who are involved in ministries, people who pour their lives out in ministry, but we don't nearly have enough people involved in ministry. You may have heard me over the last couple of months in my homilies preaching about developing this healthy expectation that as worshipping members of the parish community to have 70%, develop the expectation that we have 70% of people involved in a ministry every year. Now this is going to take some time and it's also going to take us talking about this, about what it means for us, about asking each other, what ministry are you involved in? How have you found it? How has it enriched your own prayer life? Uh, so that's something which I'm just going to bring to bring to the forefront of your mind as we uh, move into this strategic planning process. Now, this weekend we have our next video in this seven video series. It's, we had children and families last week. and We had 30 responses, which was an amazing response of people who scanned the QR code or click the link and share their dream for children and families in our parish. You'll have the same opportunity with faith and formation with this weekend's video from Mr. Shane Dwyer. So I invite you to participate, to actively participate in this process as we seek to discern what these ministry areas will look like in our parish and how we can be part of those ministry areas. Just finally, and we're talking about this every week because it's so important, we're coming up very quickly to the 2nd of October, which is our Golden Jubilee Mass at 9.30 at the Our Lady of the Rosary Primary Covered Area. Just a reminder that we're going to be having a blessing and a rosary procession starting at the church at 8.30, followed by the Mass starting at 9.30. If for mobility issues you don't feel like you can be part of the rosary procession, that's absolutely fine. We invite you to gather at the covered area at 9.15 so that you can be part of the final decade of the rosary. As the procession comes in, we're going to be starting that final decade once everyone is gathered immediately before mass starts. We've got some coffee vans, some slushy machine, popcorn machine, fairy floss machine, and hopefully even a pizza van along with our sausage sizzle. Uh, and it's all going to be free on the day. I do invite you to bring your own food. However, if you like something that's not on that menu, but we really look forward to seeing you there as we celebrate the sense of unity in our parish celebrating 50 years. So I just want to wish you God's blessing for this weekend and look forward to seeing you soon.